Car design can only go so far when it comes to protecting occupants at high speeds. Other safety features are needed to help prevent injury. One of Newton's laws of motion says that a moving body will keep moving unless something forces it to stop. The crash barrier stops the vehicle, but the load keeps travelling until it too is forced to stop. In this case, the force of the load is enough to break through the cabin. If a person is not restrained by a seat belt and the car stops, the same thing happens. The car has stopped, but the person doesn't until something forces them to. The idea of a seat belt is to hold you in place while the car crumples, so you slow down at the same rate as the car does. Seat belts are designed to stretch, which increases the stopping distance and reduces the forces on you. However, in a severe crash, even with seat belts holding the body in place, the head can reach the steering wheel or dashboard. This is where airbags come in. In addition to seat belts, modern cars have introduced airbags. Unlike the rigid steering wheel or dashboard, the airbag gives you extra stopping distance, which reduces the forces on you. The design of the airbag gives flexibility, and air escapes through vents, which increases the stopping distance.